Korea Republic's Daegu FC meet Urawa Red Diamonds of Japan in AFC Champions League Group F. The Korean side need to recover from a shock defeat last time out, as their opponents look to build on their advantage at the top of the group. The ball comes to Yung Chi in for Daegu, plays it across to Bruno Lamas, fluffed his shot, but he might get another chance here. And that's not too far wide. And Yong Wu fed it back to the Brazilian, and his second attempt was much better. Good pass through from Bruno Lamas. It's Jung Chi in on the left of the penalty area, across the face of goal. Daegu have certainly had the better of this first period, and that wasn't too far away from Jung Chi in. Keeper Suzuki was scrambling. Daegu with just 22% of the ball in the first 45 minutes, but they haven't found the opener. That's a long ball into the box for Jung Chi in to chase. And he forces Zion Suzuki into a wonderful save. Brilliant bit of keeping from the young Urawa goalkeeper. The volley was well hit. Daegu spreading it out to the left-hand side. Keita Suzuki. He's got room to work with here. Suzuki whips in across and it's headed down and in. Daegu have the opener. Zika rises highest and he was completely unmarked in there. Daegu have had so little of the ball, but they're doing so much more with it than their opponents. The header placed very well down into the ground and into the back of the net. Daegu getting the ball into the area again. It's not really under control, though. That's Bruno Lamas bringing it down. A lovely hit on the half volley. Did ever so well to bring that down in a crowded area, but it was just over. Urawa still really yet to come to life in this game. Dominating possession, but hardly any chances on goal. There might be one now. Carlson, it was a nice bit of dribbling to get through there. The shot was on target from Urawa Red Diamonds, but it was very easy for the goalkeeper in truth. Urawa's corner towards Iwanami and Sakai over from close range. Daegu get away with that one. Perhaps there is some life left in this Urawa team today. The header was cushioned back across for Sakai, who is dangerous in the air. Urawa players pouring forward now in the last few minutes in search of the equaliser. The shot saved. Might be a follow-up here and it's a way off the post. The two Danes, Juncker with the initial shot. Alexander Schultz, the follow-up. What a chance to grab a late leveller. Daegu hold on for a narrow win to blow Group F wide open. 1-0 the final score in Biriram.